What's up guys? So I've got another quick demonstration here for you. So let's say you don't necessarily want to make your own tone. Let's say you're not ready for that or you just don't have the time to do that, but you want to play a particular sound or a particular tone, particular song, particular artist, what have you. Uh, and hopefully someone's made that tone already uh, and you can find it. So the, the easiest way to do that is, you know, once you're in the app here, you just go to this little cloud icon up here and this is the tone cloud. So there's a little tone knob there on top of a cloud. That's pretty clever, uh, graphic for that, right? Tone cloud. So click on this guy and this brings up this interface here. So there's a couple of ways to do this. And keep in mind when people name their tones, they can name it whatever they want. So sometimes people list, you know, the artist and then, you know, maybe the name of the song, or in this case, they put lead guitar. So this is Tom Petty lead guitar. Who knows what song that is, but um, you know, people can name these things whatever they want. So this person did Sweet Child Intro. So you can kind of get a sense for what these uh, they're after here when they name these things. But let's say you want to search for something particular. You just go to this little menu up here and you type in whatever you want to search for. So let's just do a quick search for Clapton. See what comes up there. So here you have a bunch of different tones that people have created that have some maybe affiliation or relation to, to Clapton. Um, and it could be in the name itself, or it could be something a little more obscure than that. It could be the, the song title, it could be anything really. When people name their, their tones, again, they use whatever they want. And in this case, I'm searching by the title, but you can search by tag. So hopefully people put in, so there's an, a concept in these tones when you're creating them called tags. And when they're used, it's really helpful because people can put in a lot of interesting information. So this person put Clapton, Soldano, and Stratocaster, which is great. That's a lot of information, right? So you know that, you know, theoretically this tone sounds best with a Strat, uh, or at least that's what it was built on and that's what they were going after. Uh, other times this person put in Classic 57 Neck, right? So that's some very detailed information and that's great. Usually when I name a tone, I'll, I'll specify maybe what pickup I'm using, whether it's neck or bridge or some combo. I'll try to specify if it's maybe a more obscure genre than, than the uh, list of genres that Positive Grid gives you. You can list that in there too. Uh, maybe you can list the name of the album, right? That's not necessarily an album, uh, an option right now to select from. So tags is very helpful to use. So you find the right, right tone you're looking for, and then you have the option here to preview it. So you just tap this little play button, and now my, my amp is using that tone, and I can kind of just you know, play it real quick, my guitar's over here. So that's kind of what it sounds like. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can preview another one. Sound, sounds a little different, right? So the, once you find the tone that you like, let's say I really like the way this Eric Clapton lead sounds, uh, it's important to know that just by clicking preview, that doesn't necessarily mean you have it available to you easily. You're gonna wanna download that tone if you really like it. And you do that by pressing this little down arrow over here with this number. And then what it does is it brings up this menu where you can rename the preset if you like. If you like the name as it is, that's fine. Um, but let's say you wanna call it something else. Let's say you have a specific project in mind or maybe you think it's a specific song. You can rename it there. You can always do that later. So uh, what, what you'll probably wanna do is just leave that as is and then you can specify the genre or you can leave that as is as, is wet as well. So you'll save that. And then now it's been downloaded to your, your rock genre. So let's get out of Tone Cloud here and, and I'll, it'll show you where you get to that pretty quickly. So you go to this drop down menu here, you find your, your rock list and it should be right at the very bottom. So every time you download a new tone, it's gonna be at the bottom. And that's how you get to it quickly and easily. Next time you wanna use it, you can rename it from this interface here. Uh, if you wanna change either the genre or the, the name, you can delete it if you decide you don't like it anymore. Um, and that's kind of it. Uh, pretty easy to get those tones. One more thing to show you on these when you're doing a search. There's a couple of different ways to filter this list. But the default uh, filter, which you click on this little guy here, it's a filter, is uh, actually popularity. So at the top of this list, I'm going to apply that real quick. You're always going to see, if you have it filtered by popularity, you're always going to see the most popular, most downloaded, most favorited uh, tone. So, you know, everyone is going to have this fender bender at the top of their um, their list that they're sorted by popularity. Now you can also sort by alphabet, right? Um, which is good and bad. Um, people who name their, their tones with, uh, you know, numbers at the beginning are going to show up at the top of this list. 
This doesn't quite look alphabetical, but apparently maybe these are spaces in front of these things, right? So people are tricking the system a little bit, but that's one way to, to do it. And then by time. So this is a, a fun way to do it because then you can actually see, you know, some of the most recent tones that have been up, uploaded. Um, so it looks like this is the most recent current tone that was uploaded by someone because it's filtered right up to the top. So that means it's the newest tone. So that's another quick uh, way to, if you don't necessarily know the name of a particular tone you're looking for, but you kind of want to just look around, you can do it by that. You can, of course, sort by these different genres here. Um, and then it'll show you only tones that were created within those genres. So this is still uh, sorted by time. So this is the newest metal tone that someone uploaded. So Andrew Hayes there put a couple up there. So that's just a couple of different ways to find different tones. Um, one other thing to note here real, real quick is if you favorite one of these tones, let's say I favorite, favorited Andrew Hayes's metal fourth density tone, um, an easy way for that to, oh, actually I should have downloaded that, but now that tone will be in my list of favorites. So you can sort by your favorites and you'll always see any tone that you've ever favorited will be in this list. Um, sort of automatically. So that's uh, something if you like to use particular tones, you want to favorite them, it'll always be in that list. Um, one thing people do when they're downloading tones as well is they'll save it to one of these genres that, let's say you don't, you're not a bass player, um, but you want to have easy access to a certain uh, set of tones. You can just save them in that bass category and then they'll always be there. So I'll save this one here. And then when I go back to my tones and I just sort by bass, it's now here. So it's kind of a, a neat little trick to have your own list of your favorites. If you're not a bass player, or let's say you're not an acoustic guitar player, you can do the same thing and just save tones to that genre. Then you sort of have a quick or a shortcut way to get to all those tones. They'll probably improve some of this stuff over time and make it a little bit easier uh, to sort by those sorts of things. But for now, that's a, a quick and easy way to do it. So that's about it. Just wanted to show you guys how to find and keep access to your tones uh, long term. All right, thanks.